This week on Total Outdoor Pursuit, we're going to be heading down to Fort Myers, Florida. We're going to be going out deep sea fishing 50 miles off the coast with Captain Ryan and Captain Trevor from Southern Instinct Charters. Going after grouper, snapper, barracuda, sharks, you name it. If it's down there and biting, we're going to try and catch it. Oh yeah, and by the way, we have a bet riding on this one. Whoever ends up catching the biggest fish is the winner, and the losers have a little bit of embarrassment coming for them. All right, guys, this week we are out in the Gulf of Mexico, down in Lee County, close to... Oh, oh, fish on, on, fish on. We better wait to film the intro until after the fish stop biting. I think the intro will be better to do it. Uh, that's how we that's do it. That's how there we do it. We, we got a snapper already eating on the chum. We haven't been here in five minutes. We just got him uh, get him to take our bait. It's going to be happening real soon. All right. Before we begin. Okay. There we go. That's what we're after, Jason. That's what we're after. Hey. Oh, it's a little bit. What are they called? A yellowtail? Yellowtail snapper. Uh oh! Here we go. Come on, give it. Get that shark after the shark. Come on, Ah! Boston. Got him, Jason. He got off. Oh man. Well, broke off. You get eaten by cooters. Just that fast. He hit the hook. Ten seconds later, something else came and grabbed that fish up my line. It's a cool thing about fish in the ocean, there's always something bigger waiting to get a good meal. I know it. Alright. Oh, you got most of the filet left. <laughs> That's a cuda bite. One bite. All right, now the problem we're having, we're getting the fish on. Let's get him to the boat before the barracuda hit him. Oh, dang it. Something else just hit. Do that, what do I do? Ho, ho. All right, what is that? Barracuda. Oh, is it? Teeth on that thing. Can't smell that. when you don't get them up quick enough. You gotta be quick. Yeah, you're going as fast as you could, you're still gonna beat them. They, yeah. they had a party with you at the end there. So now we got some shark bait here, huh? Yeah, that's a whole bunch of people. Looks like we're on to plan B. Trevor's gonna show that uh, barracuda one more Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, your cuda just got eaten, brother. What hit the barracuda? I'm sure it'd be sure. No kidding. Oh yeah, that cuda's gone. Yep, you heard it right. They just said that Tom's four-foot barracuda just got eaten by something else. Looks like we're on to plan C. Check out Total Outdoor Programming on YouTube for more great tips and tactics on hunting, fishing, camping, grilling, trophy field care, taxidermy tips, and even more. Plus, you can watch full episodes of Total Outdoor Pursuit and even extras, outtakes, and bloopers off the cutting room floor. Come on, Rock! You're a bum! You're a bum, Rock! Here they come! Here they come! Why are they? Be sure to subscribe and join in on the conversations. <laughs> Check it out at youtube.com backslash Total Outdoor. You can get a hold of the Total Outdoor Pursuit and Total Outdoor Programming team through social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for the latest updates on where we're at and what we're chasing. We love hitting the road and trying new things. If you excel at any type of hunting or fishing, whether you're a professional guide or just average Joes like us, and you would like to be part of an episode teaching us what you know, send us an email at totaloutdoorpursuit at gmail.com and maybe you'll be in a future episode. If you want to put more furs on the stretcher, be sure to check out a new approach to coyote trapping and a new approach to coon trapping by Jason Hauser. Jason has filled these books with his decades of experience trapping for a living. As an outdoor writer for numerous major hunting and trapping magazines, the information is clear, concise, and packed full of great tips and lessons learned. For a new perspective on trapping techniques, check out a new approach to coyote trapping and a new approach to coon trapping by Jason Hauser. And the three of you got to do something that you probably wanted to do your whole life too, which is tangle with a shark, and that was pretty cool too. I think that's the biggest group of raccoon eyes I've ever seen. Well, that was a, that was a big shark. That yeah, was just, that was a really big shark. That was a lot of fun. Not just it, any shark either. Right, and it was unexpected, shark. you know. I mean, first you got a snapper on the line, then you got a barracuda. Oh no, now nope, now the shark's got the barracuda, so we've got him. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big snapper, a big barracuda, then a big shark. <laughs> Yeah. I'm very disappointed if I don't get to see what this is, man. Me too. <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, what we like to do is we always like to make bets, and not always, but a lot of times make bets on these friendly fishing excursions that would go on. And well, this particular time we all decided that we were gonna go for the biggest grouper. You know, whoever caught the biggest grouper wins oh. but right now tom has a shark on so we're not really sure how that's going to play into the contest he might uh, either win or lose by default we haven't decided yet if he yeah. gets the shark in automatic winner if he does not get the shark in automatic loser it depends on what he does right here this fight's been going on long enough that we're starting to lose the audience in fact resorted to going fishing tom's still sticking with it so is the fish so is the fish Tom did a great job. I mean, he fought that shark for 45 minutes and just finally ran out of juice. Things are getting a little hairy. Tom's been fighting that fish for I had to tap out. Ever. He's tapping out. We're tired of talking about it, so we're gonna bring this fish in now. Oh yeah. Just felt bad. Yeah. yeah. Poor fish. Just drove them all over this boat for an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> On a little snapper run. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's what's he feel like? Ah, good, nice. Kind of bring up. I don't know. I've never felt anything like this before. Hey, you're <laughs> you're fighting the fish that's half. I know. Yeah. Tom did the rest of the work. He's got he got the hard end. Well, Mike got to feel the power of the shark for about 20 minutes, and now it was time for Jason to get a turn. You taking you taking it for it? All right, do it. Just Billy, you should do it too, Marty. It's filled with fish and power. A freaking head shake you have that rattles your whole body. Don't hit the boat, you're gonna have to build it. 
He's hacking this up. Thing on me is your Twenty minutes later, and Jason's passing the pole back to Mike. Oh, I see something! I see something! What is that? What is that? What is that down there? That's the pole. Yeah, oh, geez. So Mike finally wrestles this fish up to the boat. An hour and a half we'd fought this fish between the three guys. Finally gets it up to the side of the boat. We're trying to move towards the back to try and take some better pictures. And the shark decided he wasn't quite done yet. It's pretty crazy when you're 50 miles off the nearest piece of land and you realize what's been swimming underneath you the whole time. I hope that plug is in the boat. Man eater size right there. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Even though they don't really eat man. You ready? Yep. That 30 pound leader had lasted for an hour and a half at this point, and finally the line broke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know you guys fought that fish together, but man, yeah. it's like you're bonded or something. Yeah, what, the out, <laughs> oh. what a way to forget it. Oh, we got footage of him. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that, brother? That was insane. <laughs> so you beat that fish on a 30 pound leader. <laughs> you think that fish sweet. weighed 400 pounds? That was awesome. Thank you, man. That was a good boy, brother. <laughs> yeah. Beep, Tom. beep. Oh, sorry. Beep. <laughs> that was a big one. That Shucks. Was one. That was a lot of fun, fellas. <laughs> Shucks. Shut, Shut up. Shut the camera, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a children's show. <laughs> yeah. Stony Creek Wildlife Studio is a full-service taxidermy studio specializing in game heads, life-size mammals, fish, and birds. Our goal is to recreate your trophy in a way that not only makes you proud to display it, but also pays tribute to the awesome animals that we respect so much as outdoorsmen. Attention to detail, experience, and creativity go into every mount we work on. For more information, check us out at stonycreektaxidermy.com. You can get a hold of the Total Outdoor Pursuit and Total Outdoor Programming team through social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for the latest updates on where we're at and what we're chasing. We love hitting the road and trying new things. If you excel at any type of hunting or fishing, whether you're a professional guide or just average Joes like us, and you would like to be part of an episode teaching us what you know, send us an email at totaloutdoorpursuit at gmail.com and maybe you'll be in a future episode. Check out Total Outdoor Programming on YouTube for more great tips and tactics on hunting, fishing, camping, grilling, trophy field care, taxidermy tips, and even more. Plus, you can watch full episodes of Total Outdoor Pursuit and even extras, outtakes, and bloopers off the cutting room floor. Come on, Rock! You're a bum! You're a bum, Rock! Here they come! Here they come! What are they? Be sure to subscribe and join in on the conversations. <laughs> Check it out at youtube.com backslash Total Outdoor. After the excitement of the shark, we're on to plan D, catching bonitas for Goliath grouper bait. Oh, oh, oh. there he is. Oh, man, he's like freaking fly.
look at this! This guy, that was it. Why is he ripping on someone's line? Somebody needs to let him know that he is bait. Hey, there we go. What we got there? <laughs> All right, good job. That's how it's done. We are out here in Southwest Florida, Fort Myers, uh, fishing with Southern Instinct Charters, Captain Ryan and Captain Trevor, and they are putting us on the fish. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your place here. Um, well, you know, I run a small charter company. We have a big boat, the offshore boat, and a small inshore boat. And Trevor runs the inshore stuff for us most of the time when I'm out in the, in the big boat. And uh, we've been doing this about seven years now. And, you know, realistically, we do our charters to have fun. We do a lot of family charters. <laughs> And uh, our charters are more about having a really good time. Oh, <laughs> there he is. All right, hooked up on this one. Doubled. Got double going on. Yep, Captain Ryan we, got one on too. Me and Captain's in a race here now. Do you really want to race? No, not really. I want to see a race. <laughs> These little buggers are fun, aren't they? Oh, 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 oh no. no. Oh, you better get Mine's back in off. Oh, man, what I are you lose doing that by, I lose by default. Come on, Jason. Break it into it, too. Yeah. Go, boy, go. Yeah. That's why white guys shouldn't dance. Ah. <laughs> Medicine is what I want. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting him have it. That just hit the water. <laughs> oh, you got one too, huh? Yeah. All right, we got a double again. But I'm going to land mine again. Are you really? Yeah, what are you, you going to do? <laughs> well, I won't get mine in like two seconds here. Because I got a good one. I don't know what the heck you got. Oh. I got a coffee. Oh, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> See, now right there, that's an eater. Now we hit some six foot waves out there today. Is that a common occurrence? No, well, it was you guys, so I wanted to push it a little bit and beat you up. <laughs> and we did it like pros. Yeah, you know? yeah we no, did, we did. That's about as rough as I'll push it, you know. I, that's not for everybody. Oh! Told ya! Did I say it was a fish or what? That was a fish right there. I got this down pat. <laughs> I've been doing this about four hours now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a pro. You're thinking about joining Team Bonita next year? Well, of course. My phone's been ringing off the hook just because I got here. Hear that, hear that screaming? Yeah, people don't think that these fish bite. I mean, just watch that go. Uh, the drag is set really tight. What kind of fish are you guys typically going after? Um, it depends. You know, inshore, it's snook and redfish and trout. You know, a lot of our inshore species, um, there's different seasons. Like, there's tarpon season, so tarpon's really popular. Offshore, it just really depends. A lot of times people want to go meat fishing and they want to catch snapper and grouper, you know, stuff that's good table fare. Or then you have the guys that are really just like, let's just do something cool. So you have big fish that strike. I mean, it could be anything from barracuda to sharks to tuna. Kingfish is one of my favorite because of how fast they run, you know, and it, the big explosions. What's the best way to get a hold of you guys again? I have a cool little website. It's southerninstinct.com. It's it's easy. It's simple. And if that doesn't work, you just call me. I mean, my phone number's on the website, so just give me a call. Whoa. Got it. Oh, that nice here. Right in front. Go. More bait. More bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's how you bleed right there. Right in the heart. Those right things here. fight like mad. While we were down in Fort Myers, we had a chance to get to go out and see some of the cool scenery. We went out on the purefortmyers.com boat tour, and it was a great time. really cool we got to see some of the skyline 
some of the views. Plus we got to go out and see some of the cool native wildlife to that area. We had a great time. The tour was really awesome. The captain was really funny. Kept us entertained the whole time through. And I would definitely recommend if you ever get a chance for a family vacation, head down to Fort Myers, go out, see some of the sites, have fun at the beach, and you might even be able to slip out and do some fishing while the family's out shopping. We thank you and on uh, behalf of uh, Pure Fort Myers, thank you very much. Thank you. When you get back home, send all your friends over here. We need the money. <laughs> Oh, I know. Then you have people like Mike who have a dream fish. <laughs> yes. Mike's been trying to get a, or been dreaming about getting a Goliath grouper for years, never had the chance. Well, he had three chances. Three chances. <laughs> <laughs> Still it's didn't no pull joke. it off. That's what we were catching. That's what we were catching, and he was having a hard time getting in. Now he wants to use it for bait. I got a funny feeling. I might have bit off a little more than I can chew. Trying to get me hooked up, so we're going to. Oh, no, that's that's me. I'll uh, tell you when. <laughs> you get that on video? You got any toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> we just marked one, and from the bottom up, he's about three foot tall. So we are looking at a very large fish. We are looking at a very large fish, and we're he's probably ready to, If you want to put your application in. Uh, what's the name of this again? Southern Instinct. Um, your charter service? Southern Instinct Charter. Southern Instinct Charter. But I already look for a new uh, first mate, because the first mate that's present is about to get thrown in. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's got his first Goliath grouper on. Here we go. <laughs> Now this is a huge pole and look at the bend in that. <laughs> the expressions are getting better. <laughs> this is a freaking fish on the end of this. I'm from Indiana. We don't got fish like this. Ooh. I lost him. Oh man. Second Goliath. He's got a second chance here. This one here is fighting like mad. Got a chance for redemption. You ever been Goliath Cooper fishing? Gotta try it. Give it everything you got. Uh, where's the place to go? <laughs> Southern Fishing Charter. Southern Instinct. Where's Southern on Instinct? <laughs> oh! Not again! Southern Instinct Charters. They get you on the fish, it's up you to catch them. <laughs> Third try. Got him this time, Mike. Don't let him go this time. Just taking the drag out. I pull the drag in, he takes it out. He's running though, so I can think I got him up at least. Your pole's turned sideways. Need a hand? Uh, just taking the drag out. Fish or mine? No, mine. <laughs> <laughs> got it for a second? Yeah. Okay. Oh, these, that's a big fish. Mm. He should be out. You got him yeah. this time, Mike. You got him. Nice. Oh, oh. oh. Doing you suck at this. I guess I do! Oh boy. This is when you want the cameras to go away and they just don't. <laughs> what the heck am I doing wrong, man? Oh, uh, you're getting beat? Well, Storms ended up chasing us off before he could ever get a fourth try, but you know, he got to feel the power of a Goliath grouper, so he was pretty pumped. I mean, it's been an awesome trip. We really want to thank you guys for yeah, having us out man, here. I mean, a ton of fun. Thank yeah. you, man. So, yeah, thank you, if you guys have ever thought about Thanks, getting boys. big fish, yep. Uh, if you've ever thought about fishing Florida, fishing the Gulf of Mexico, definitely check it out. Southerninstinct.com. They will put you on the fish. If plan A doesn't work, they've got all the other plans covered. Check it out. Southerninstinct.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on Total Outdoor Pursuit. Thank you. We decided that Tom won the bet because he fought the shark for the longest, so it's time for Jason and Mike to pay up.
stop yet. We were definitely getting attention. <laughs> Have we propelled our end of it yet? Nice work, though. I'll take a picture behind my camera. I appreciate that. Total Outdoor Pursuit is also brought to you by these great sponsors. Next week, we're going to be gator hunting in the Everglades just outside of Fort Myers, Florida. We're going to be doing it ground level, right. five feet from the edge of the swamp. Mm -hmm. He just blinked. Tom's going to be heading out for a 10-foot plus gator, and Jason's going to do his best not to get drug into the water by him. Oh. Then Lottie's going to show the guys how to do it. Lottie's got a gator on. Right. <laughs>